Hey guys, what's going on? This is uh, Ringo Scarlet. Um, the um, one of the founders of Lifestyle. Um, and this is my bike check. So I'm gonna start off with the grips there. Zoom in on those. Those are the 25.9 Ronin grips. Uh, they're about 12.99, I think, on Amazon. They work really well. Very thick grip, good for streets. Yeah, street setup. Coming over to the bars, you want to go ahead and zoom in on those beautiful bars. Those are Kink Eagle bars that you're looking at there. Um, in nine inch rise. Uh, stem. BSD stacked stem. Same one I heard on my old setup. Uh, coming down to the headset there. Up front there is the Daily Grind headset. Saw it in the shiny purple to match my build. Had to get it. Absolutely amazing headset. Love it. Bearings are nice and uh, uh, nice and smooth to do bar spins and stuff. Uh, Rant top cap to the Rant Twin Peak forks and chrome. Shout out to Rant. They make good quality parts for the price. Uh, another shout out to Mission. Front and back tires in purple. Love them. These are the tracker tires. Once again, they match my build. Up front here at the Rant uh, Squad. That is the Party on V2. Laced with a Rant Party on V2 front uh, hub there. Female hub with the Rant uh, Super Coup front hub guards. Love them. Laced with some black Source BMX titanium spokes. Over to the pegs. These are the Rant Cool Pegs. Plastic. Um, front and back. Love plastic pedals. They slide so much better than Chromo. Rode Chromo in the past. Didn't really care for it that much. I run two just on my grind side. Uh, don't really like the added weight with all four. Um, the bike weighs right now probably about 25 pounds as is. Um, the pedals here. Federal pedals. They grip very good. Good pedals. Cranks, probably one of my most favorite parts. These are the Mission Transit cranks. Shout out to them, very good cranks. To uh, the Mission Nexus, I believe. This is Sprocket. Yep, right there, Mission Nexus. The purple. It's big bulky chain right here, half link. This is the Primo half link chain. Now, on to the back. This is a little different setup. It's a Colony Pintor wheel with the Wasp Pub. And I switched these out with some Source BMX Titanium spokes as well. Um, and, you know, that's uh, that's basically it. Your seat. forgot about the seat. Sabrosa. Just Sabrosa one-piece seat. Uh, and a... Um, Mafia bikes, 19 millimeter bottom bracket with the chrome uh, spacer over here to match. It looks super cool. And the um, spindle is titanium as well, profile. So, um, I mean, that's it. Basically, all this, all the bolts are titanium. Stem bolts uh, and these uh, bolts here in the cranks, the crank bolts. Uh, even got these cool dice, super cool. Dice in the uh, in the wheels, um, and last of all, most important thing on the bike, I switched it up. I went with the Fit Bike Co. Shortcut frame. Saved the best part of the bike for last. This frame, guys, it is absolutely amazing. Short back end uh, helps me with manuals and wheelies stuff like that. Um, 
Guys, I can't recommend this frame enough. Go buy it right now. I got it for $223.99 uh, $223 with the tax. It was came to like about $237, something like that, with the tax included. The absolute best part, most important part of a bike is the frame, and I think I made a good choice going with the fit shortcut. But uh, that's going to do it for the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we will be... Uh, staying up by itself. We will be uh, doing more stuff to Vincent's bike, getting a bike check of that. Um, and so, yeah, I think we covered everything. I uh, guess the bar ends. They're, they're just off of Amazon. Uh, not really too happy with them as they are coming out. I know loose, but um, yeah, guys, that's the whole bike.